So whilst digging up some of our old stumps, that one over there in particular, we discovered many buried treasures. One of them being this piece of what I think is leaf spring steel. So from an old tractor or an old car or something. So yeah, I thought I might as well try making a knife out of it. survived underground so long it's leaf spring steel which um, I think has a high chromium content which means that um, it's quite uh, resistant to corrosion being underneath a car exposed to the weather that's the kind of steel you'd want soft enough to work with. I'll be able to shape it, drill a hole in it, grind it down. Yeah. As you can see, still great steel on the inside. It's just surface corrosion. Not bad at all. It's a good piece of treasure. It's pretty toasty in there. Look at this. The hot coals here. I'll leave it like that for a while. Wait till it cools by itself. Or the molecules should realign and it'll be easier to work and shape into a knife. This is after a bath in vinegar overnight just to remove the scale and rust. It's a very cool finish. I'm going to keep that on the sides of the knife. Notice that the knife design has changed just a little bit. Instead of having a straight edge, I decided to curve it. I originally wanted to make it like a traditional um, kiridashi, the Japanese sort of um, utility knife. But yeah, I, I didn't want the chisel grind um, on the on the knife. I wanted to um, just have a traditional like scandi grind. So I thought, well, if I'm changing that, I might as well go for a more of a curved blade. Um, it looked kind of cooler with the sweeping handle design as well so yeah just a little custom design so now that it's softened you can see that the file just eats right into it when it's hardened the file will just skate off the top of it let's get to it Thank you. 
Alright, I'll do some grinding and then I'll do it manually with the file after that. Uh, I think the rest is going to have to be done by hand, which is 90% of it. It's going to take a while. I see my breath. It's pretty cold out. Ow, that's not cold, that's hot. If only there was an in-between, in-between freezing cold and scalding hot. Okay. some nice green living water from outside <laughs> from one of the rain barrels just to cool off the knife it's getting pretty hot when I when I work it <laughs> So after about an hour of filing, we have an edge. So it's not super sharp. That's because we need to harden it first. I'm just gonna strip the scale off it for now. Um, it'll end up darker afterwards, but for now I need to get rid of the scale. After a bit more shaping, I have the final design, which I'm really happy with. I managed to get a pretty good edge going just with hand filing, nice and straight, but I'll put it to a wet stone um, after it's heat treated. I love this pitted surface, kind of looks um, meteoric. Now to figure out how to heat treat this thing without a forge. <laughs> it's my makeshift forge, should do the trick, hopefully can get it hot enough to quench.
So that's after a quench with cooking oil, canola oil. I didn't quite get it too hot, but I think it'll suffice for just a little utility knife. It's more of an art piece anyway. <laughs> Alright, now to pretty it up. uncomfortable. Feels my four fingers. A little bit of a choil here for protection so I don't slip onto the blade. Just a nice little utility knife. Well there it is. That was a little bit of fun. I'm not sure how often I'll use it but if for nothing else a letter opener. Thanks for watching. Oh and I made this too. Marlin Spike.